I want to discuss uh, the principle of parsimony or Occam's razor. Um, Occam was a, a medieval philosopher and this is one big principle that Occam was known for. Um, this Occam's razor or the principle of parsimony is saying that um, when you have a bunch of different um, possible theories, you have if you had all these, if you had a couple hypotheses that are uh, competing to be the one hypothesis that becomes uh, the what is the um, the true one, or what can be the the most possible you referred to as the true one, um, and if all these hypotheses are are you know somewhat the same together. Um, you need to select the one that um, makes the fewest amount of uh, new suppositions. So it's pretty much saying that if you if you if you have this little problem in science or philosophy and you're trying to trying to um, figure this problem out, and you have a, like maybe four or five hypotheses, and you have like, maybe like three of them that have like four, have like a few new problems that come along with it or new assumptions that are not exactly proven, which, you know, because basically if you, if you, if you create a solution to one problem, but then you happen to find that the, if you happen to choose the hypothesis that, if you happen to choose a certain hypothesis to be, if you're going to argue this, then you, and you, and you have three more problems that they have to deal with, um, for one thing, this this decreases the um, it just it uh, decreases the um, the uh, argumentative you know force behind that because you have all these new uh, new uh, problems that are coming with it, new new assumptions that are not proven. But then if you have you know, and then it also create it also can be you know creates more problems if you choose this one. But if you, you so basically the principle of, of parsimony or Occam's razor is if you have four hypotheses, you need to pick the one that has the least new least new assumptions or uh, unproven things. The least uh, of them. Uh, the, and so if you and if you if you see one that has zero new assumptions, zero new suppositions, then choose that one because it's least problematic and it makes the argument for that for that hypothesis better and it makes gives more force behind that that one argument. Now I'm discussing this because I'm I got uh, a suggested video because you know you have this little thing in your inbox which is a suggested video people who are who can share videos with you. Now I usually don't 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 look in that file very much because there's people spamming me basically spamming me trying to get people trying to get me to watch their, watch their videos which usually I don't I don't want to unless you're like philosophical or the shade tards or CTFXC or sexy Phil or something uh, so I don't usually go into that folder but I went in, I went into that little part of my inbox and I saw at the top um, this video this unlisted video from libertarian realist who's talking about a few things. And uh, I want to discuss that later. So I wanted to discuss that. But do you do you think that you know this is a good thing to to, to go by, or do you think that it's, or do you think that it might that it might be better to go with more uh, problems because it might be possible that you know in your in, in your set of beliefs that they could kind of loop back upon each other and, you know, sort of create a set, a set, set of beliefs which are better. But I don't know. I, 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 would have to, I would have to agree with this. This is a basic thing in philosophy which, you know, prevents a lot of outlandish things. So anyway, I'll talk about libertarian realists video soon.